now. Trigger warning, if you are easily offended, this get off this video right now because the two people I have with me, I cannot control them. Their mouths will overrun their ass right from the get-go. So, <clears throat> I have today, I got two admins from the Geek Art page, Charlie I am and an admin. Jason. Alright, so starting out with the spawn piece for our Artist of the Week, Brad register now quite frankly i think this is a absolutely beautiful piece dude you can blame me all you want for destroying that pencil of yours but i think it was worth it i think that the shading on this is absolutely fantastic and i blame you for destroying your own pencil didn't have to go so hard just because of me what do you guys think uh i fully agree 100 percent should not blame you for any of that. And <laughs> number two, I just want an OC. That's all I want. You want an like, OC? Yeah, no, I mean, because it's like everybody's drawing the same shit. You got Spawn. You got Goku. 90s are coming back. Pop, people are probably going to start drawing Reptar and Rugrats and stuff like that. Like, oh, my God, Reptar. I want original characters. Like, okay, I could have drawn Gengar and got a bunch of Pokemon fans. I could have drawn... Boo, and I could have gotten to draw a bunch of like Dragon Ball Z fans, but then I combined the two and then I made an original character. Like, you can do that. Like, yeah, okay, you make Spawn, but make Kratos with the Spawn Cape. That's basically Dude, that'd be cool. Like, yeah, like, I like that. Do that. Well, Keep and drawing, you know, I, like, I get characters. you know, this it is what our group is about. Our group is about um, showing our love for comic book characters, anime characters. But I agree. I think we see a lot of the same stuff a lot, and it'd be really cool to um, see some more original stuff as well. Yeah. Like, that's what I want to see. Yeah, I agree. Let's go and ahead. Great uh, on shading. I mean, fantastic. But, like, you could have done more with it, I feel. If you made an original character, you would have gotten a lot more praise than drawing another Spawn portrait. I agree. I agree. I think the yeah. original stuff gets gets good stuff or uh, gets good attention. I really like seeing it. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, I do like seeing it, seeing a good homage to a great character. So. Oh, for sure, for sure, definitely. So let's it go ahead. On it. Let's check out the next it, the next piece here. I mean, like. All right. So, so next piece we're coming at here with Daniel Rios sucking up to Mel again. Like I swear, this dude. He is trying hard to get in her pants by sending her favorite <laughs> shit. Like, what the hell, man? Just trying to jump them fences, are you? She's got a husband. I mean, I... He just doesn't understand that. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> no, for real. He's always talking about people tracing shit. And I mean, like, I'm going to just say it, dude. You probably trace this. Oh! Dude. Oh, my God. Dude. Oh, I'm I'm saying, saying, you, the, like, this is Daniel we're talking about. Hold on, this is Daniel we're talking about. He yeah. did this in five minutes. Okay, I he did this in five minutes. He did. Okay. He probably did this in five minutes. Okay. I can make your girl come in like maybe two seconds. Damn. Honestly, <laughs> that's how real. If I'm being honest, that statement was <laughs> like. <laughs> 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 Dude, if I'm being honest, I make better fucking art inside of my toilet on a daily. Like, I mean, I honestly like paint that shit. And I like I'm sitting here having a fucking goddamn mosaic in there, but I gotta look at this fucking garbage. Like, right? I'm sorry, just because he has he's stuck selling apples and oranges, like I have to look at this regurgitated garbage. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, yeah, he can no, take like, himself honestly, back over to Home Depot and do his shit like he normally does. And then, you know, he can come back at me when he finally gets good at art. Because in I the end, mean, he's just horrible. You know what I mean? In no, every yeah. aspect. He sucks my dick on a daily. Honestly? <laughs> no, for real. Honestly, here's the thing. I sent him the line work to this, and he's the one who colored it in. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, like, where's the We are completely kidding. Like I want to see We're that. completely Tennessee. kidding. Daniel, this is a freaking <laughs> awesome piece. You just I know, man. He's always been cranking out good shit. Always. All the time, Amazing. man. Like, 
ever his line work has always been the same. His style has always been the same. He gave girls always cute little puffy little lips. He always did the cute little cartoon noses with the anime eyes and the cute little Bro, line. Calm He's down with done. your furry infatuation. Calm down with your furry infatuation. Please. Oh no, I dissected his shit since like day one. I know his shit. His stuff is always the same. He's always doing the good shit. Always. Yeah, and we're logic go ahead. and the art and logic and the rap. That's what he is. Good good job, Daniel. We're gonna move on. Go. Alright, and I'm gonna completely regret this, but let's go with Jim Williams and his black cat. This is some beautiful shading. Oh, I crazy. love the fine details and she looks so freaking fine. Charlie, stop, stop. <laughs> I can't I can't stand your face that close. Stop. Uh, well, I, I needed to take a good look. Bro, There's so much just, detail in it, bro. I'm sorry. I had to zoom in. <laughs> bro, in that's not your black cat. Get later. away. Get away. Get away. That's not your black cat. That's mine. I'm putting it in there tonight. Oh, you can that. Here's more bad luck. Don't even lie to me. Don't even lie to you. Fuck. I'll take that bad luck. I don't give a fuck. That's mine. I'm dick slapping everything. Yeah. Titties too. I don't give a fuck. I'll dick slap the ankles. No, there's so much detail into this. This is what makes me get into hentai. For real. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, all right. Well. Good job. Good job, Jim. Great we're going to go ahead and see what's coming next. So, the next piece that we're going to do is uh, from somebody I have not seen before. Kautamak Ka- Ka- Garcia? <laughs> I hope I'm saying that your name right. I have no clue how to say that properly. Um, <laughs> somebody's about to butcher whatever I just said. <laughs> Welcome to America. We do that here. <laughs> uh, but uh, we got we got this... Big old albino looking T Rex with, you know, caveman riding this thing, looking like they're about to chow down on some thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. Whoa. Why am I getting a call? Get away. Get away. Decline. Uh-oh. I'm doing important. All right. Hey, okay, no anyway. calls during my call. I'm more important at the moment. Yeah. Exactly. You <laughs> are the god to my addiction. Um. No, okay, I just want backgrounds. I like it. I like the cartoon vibe. I like the little, like, He-Man type thing. I, I dig it. But I just want background. I, that, that's just my critique. I want background. Well, I, I want agree. full, 100% effort. Like, cool. Um, you got the anatomy right. Tiny arms, big legs. I mean, that's how I like, you know, my women. Oh. Um, uh, uh, that was gross. Either way, you're gross. it's good. I came out here to say my piece, just so you know. Oh, you came out here to say your piece? Yeah. I I yeah, feel like this is going to be bad. <sighs> Are you caveman grunting this shit? Like, He's trying to speak in the character's language. Give him a second. Oh. <laughs> it hurts me physically. Like, physically. Um, no. Switch, no. No? Okay. So, Mr. Garcia, this is an amazing piece. I cannot wait to see more from you in the future. As Charlie said, Charlie, Charlie's this one. As Charlie said, let's go ahead, let's get a background on that piece to make it even better. And and we have Banana Man. Dude, this has me dying. Like Adam. Adam, this is an awesome piece. I love the colors. I love the I, I love the line work in it. But every time I look at it, I start cracking up laughing. <laughs> no, it's good. It's it's adorable. I like the blue. I like the shading. I like the color. It's like my lip gloss. It's theoretically popping, and it's good. Like I like I like Batman, Banana Man. Like good job, play on words, make an original character out of an, a non original character. Um, it's good. Well, I think I he like said to play that with with it for sure. I, think I he wonder said this if he has UK like thing. the like fruit problems as like. Yeah, maybe maybe he's like LGBTQ and like the rest of the alphabet type thing. <laughs> maybe, but he's good. It's adorable. I love it. 
Yeah, it's definitely a good piece right there. I that that's something I appreciate. Maybe I'm a little bit biased with it, you know. Uh, Batman yeah. was something I looked up to because I had no one else to look up to when I was a kid. But uh, this is something that's definitely you know worthy to talk about. It's 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 pretty amazing in my opinion. Yeah, it might yeah. not have a background. It might not have like the most popping colors besides obviously the combination of blue and yellow and the shades within but like it's blue and definitely yellow, blue and yellow blue and yellow black and yellow oh my god <laughs> <laughs> no no, um... no I, you know what i you know why i really like this piece is because we've gotten so many like dark and gritty images this week and then this was just like boom bright colorful and coming at you from left field Oh yes, just like I Ace agree. Stripper. It's like I a mean, switch from what? DC to Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I what what I like about it is it instantly reminds me. Okay, no, have you seen that um Family Odd Parents movie where like he's sifting through channels and stuff? Yeah. Okay, no, like if that was a monkey, it would literally remind me of when he went into like or no, it was when he went time hopping or something. I think. I think I, I think know what you're talking about. I think I know what you're talking about. But I, I remember. Yeah, that. where he went into like it was like Planet of the Apes, but it was Timmy Turner and the Fairly Odd Parents. Yep, that's what it reminds me of. Nope, I like, agree. It brought back like that nostalgic memory, so that's why I really like it. It's really good. It is. Tell you yeah. what, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and check out what the next piece. So I want to do this really fast highlight, Carl Davies. I know I talk about you all the time, man. Um. I've I, I've said all I can say about him. He, he's a great freaking artist. Everything he does blows me away. But I have to highlight this piece right here. Not only did he draw this dude, the wrestler that he drew followed him on Instagram and shared his image out to the rest of the WWE Universe. I'm like, that's mind-blowing. And that's one of our artists in this group. And... Dude, I, I just want to say awesome job, dude. I'm so proud of you. Like, that's so cool. Um, that's beyond that's beyond anything. Like, that's that's something different right there. Good job. You know, holy fuck. Oh, I mean, holy crap, dude. He, he definitely deserves Future that. Brand, fix that. <laughs> I'm sorry. He definitely deserves that. He did everything he could to work hard on that and he probably wasn't even looking for recognition from the artist no but I here mean, he is like doing hard and even if he was looking for recognition he got he it got it. He, des- he got it and you know what? it's 100 percent deserved every little bit oh for sure oh, yeah. that detail like like that's hours of work that is oh, yeah. out upon hours of work to get that de- and then you get that's like that's like if i got recognition from like box office artist or like somebody like jazza or like zhc or any other like big famous art youtuber or anything like that like congrats for sure right Definitely. So, oh yeah just like job. don't get mad about it though you better no. not or i'm gonna like come and roast all of your art and make you feel bad oh all right moving on all right so next all piece right. we have carlos crick hitting us up with the golden frieza mm. So good. It is. It's okay. beautiful. Dude, I love... He started this, like, series of characters where there's just a basic background and the character is highlighted in just one single color. And I think this is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. Just like, like his mother. Oh, yes. Frieza has a mother? I mean, I don't know. I've never seen it. Honestly, I feel like Frieza is so perfect. He was probably developed in a test tube, and that his father is just some guy that was like, I just want you. Oh. Just you. And then that gave Frieza daddy issues all the time. Like, he is the king of it, and that's why he's... That's why I love the color. That's why I love the color they chose. I mean, yeah, the golden Frieza is just a reskin, but, like, they thought, like, even, even if you hate it, you have to at least appreciate that they probably thought so far ahead oh my god this is so obvious then they make frieza say i did I, I chose this color because it just fits me and it does 
and that's well, why this is it, was it that it fit him or was it he was trying to mock the super saiyan transformation probably like you could think that hard and be like no he's really actually just joking around he hates the saiyan so much that he's like oh you have yellow hair my skin is yellow and i don't even care nah. <laughs> like i love it and i love the simplicity of a basic background but you're letting the colors pop yeah you're letting it pop absolutely 100 percent you make a pop in like and it's delicious <laughs> freeze is just such a great character like all around yes i don't care what they say about you know how they dislike him or he's lesbian <laughs> probably okay homo just to be clear Indian. he is a space sure. alien of unidentified origins and gender exactly <laughs> And I'd stick my dick in the he's booty. He's always please. naked, all the time. Not true. Uh, please, not true. And when you're doing a dark he video, wore, he please. wore something when he was in his, uh, you know, original. Well, first form oh, that yeah. we see him in. Yeah, but he wasn't wearing underwear, so that doesn't count. He's basically wearing a skirt. Was he not wearing underwear? I was pretty sure he wore underwear. Really? He was asking for it when he got his so. ass beat. Basically, now, that's the now, entire. As soon as, when as, he, soon as he went into his second form, and he was like. Hey Vegeta, you want to see my big old transformation? And he like bulked up. <laughs> then his underwear disappeared. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's like it's like it's like ridiculous. It's like if Bruce Banner was wearing black pants and then he turns into the Hulk. His shorts are purple now. Right every time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every time. Every time. No, no, he did a great job on this. I absolutely love it. I love... I, this is, like, my favorite style of art, though. Like, you have simple, like, not so much paying attention in the background, and you let the colors pop, but, like, you're just doing your thing, and I love it. It's, yeah, I agree. It's simple, but it, I, I, it works. See, I, I like to go... I like to go both ways, and only in this kind of a situation. Yeah, you Hitting do Hitting you off first, Jason. Um, I, like whenever they, I like whenever they have the simple, <laughs> and they make that one thing pop. But I also like those images what we, that we get with our artists where it's just so filled with so much depth in there that yeah. you can just keep staring at it and find more and more stuff all the time. Yeah. Exactly. In a nice way, can I say something? What are you going to say? Do I have to have in the mute nice button way, ready? In a nice way, I do really fucking like how the background is black and white. Uh, uh, how I didn't mean to swear. Holy crap. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I I do enjoy how the background is black and white. And I like how the, you know, he uses the gold and the white and he makes it just like pop. But at the same time, the, you know, the character is transparent mm -hmm. and everything. You know, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't know. No, I just, I, I really enjoy that. Also, my one other request is please don't bring me into these videos unless it's like dark and <laughs> Well, <laughs> I'm pretty like, sure this yeah, video became already. real dark just because you got on it. Let's go ahead and check out our final artist. So, our last artist of the week is Justin Tovar with this piece I've been waiting on forever. What'd you do? Kill like 20 pencils making this thing with all the shading? You got the Gogeta and you got the most annoying character in all of Dragon Ball Z. Yamcha. <laughs> I was gonna say Fat Boo. Oh yeah, Fat Boo. No, hands down, Chao Tzu. Chao Tzu. <laughs> no, I like Chao Tzu. Chao Tzu's sassy. I like He's sassy, sassy, but like, literally, his hugs are like suicide. Well, that's true. <laughs> like, uh, he's a Cyberman on the Z team, is what he was. That's <laughs> basically what Chao Tzu was. But no, I like. I mean, I'm a fan of the fusion things. This is good. It's fantastic. Um, I will say though, when it comes to black and gray, you can get away with a lot more shading than, than like the three cell shading that like the DBZ style is like mm -hmm. if he would have maybe done like, I don't know, four cells more, it would be like pseudo realism and it would probably stand out and pop a lot better, but I do like it. I do like it. I get what you mean. I see, I see yeah. what you're talking about. Like, I think his shading is really good, but it's really good for that Dragon Ball style. Like you said, the yeah. three cell shading. Um, yeah. I think where you would where that fourth cell would have yeah. uh, made this kind of.
pull together a little bit more is in Gotenks' face. His face seems really white compared to the rest of him. Yeah. yeah he did. <laughs> so, if he would have gone that extra little bit, that would have made the face still blend <laughs> into the rest of his body. Yeah. Like, show the same love in the face as you do the body, for sure. Like, you have, like, all right, I'm going to go, like, full on, like, community college, like, did, like, two years of art school shit. If you would have went, like, level 10 in the shading spectrum first, and then you went lighter with everything, yeah, it would look like a mess. But you could at least, like, I don't know, do a little bit more detail in the face when it comes to the shading. Because, like, it's Super Saiyan 3. Like, the face is, like, the biggest transformation. Like, the hair's long, but you gotta put that love in the Okay, face. can I just say one thing? And I know I I am the biggest... I'm one of the biggest Dragon Ball fans ever. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna get hung up for this one. I know, I know they're gonna beat the crap out of me for this. Right. I feel like freaking Super Saiyan 3 losing its eyebrows has got to be the dumbest thing ever in a transformation. Yeah, no, I agree, but I will never forget that hype when they first introduced it. Oh, yeah, every little bit. Like, yo, when I was like a kid, straight up, like, oh my god, they did longer hair? Genius. And then right? two years later, this is the dumbest thing. What do you mean? It's yeah. better than a, like a skin change. Like, okay. <laughs> I got a question for you guys. It might not be serious. It might not be serious, right, we're but it is to make a question. That our, last, our last comment for the day, though. Okay, well, what happens if your butthole hairs go super soon? All right, and guys, we're going to go ahead and end the video here today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Hope to see you guys all next time. Have a good one, guys.